It was about 3 a.m., but I was still trying to get some work done for the next day. I heard the sound of broken glass hitting the wooden floor in my living room, and I knew something was wrong immediately. My girlfriend and my dog were both asleep in the room with me, and my niece and nephew were asleep in the room across the hall, as I was watching them for the weekend. I woke my girlfriend quietly and told her to call 911. I had my carry gun still on from earlier that day, but I decided to grab my rifle, a Novetsky, loaded with 75 grain Hornaday tab. I could hear the crunch of the broken glass under the feet of the guys downstairs. Had it just been my girlfriend and me in the house at the time, I would have stayed in the bedroom, but with my niece and nephew across the hall, I didn't want anyone coming upstairs. I positioned myself at the top of the stairs and stayed quiet, hoping they'd just take the TV and the game consoles from the living room and leave. After a minute or two, both of them started moving towards the downstairs hallway and started heading up towards the stairs. I stood up where they could see me and pointed my rifle at them and yelled to get out of my house. Before I even finished saying it, one of them had raised a pistol and started shooting at me. I didn't see him draw, so he must have had it in his hand and I didn't notice it. I returned fire, hitting both of them several times. Both guys were down and I just kept the rifle on them and they didn't move. I fired 12 shots with 7 total hits. They fired 6 at me, but all missed. Two of the bullets were recovered from the bookcase that I was standing behind. The police arrived about 10 minutes later, and when I saw the lights outside, I lowered my rifle, cleared it, and leaned it against the wall. I also took off my carry gun and left it beside my rifle. Both men were dead by the time the police arrived. I don't regret what I did in the least. I do look back at it though and think about how I made some stupid mistakes though. I should have noticed the guy had a gun in his hand immediately and I should have been quicker on the trigger. I let them get the first shot off. If I had been hit, things could have gone very differently. If you have an SHTF story that you'd like to share, please email me at reallifeshtf at gmail.com.